Welcome YouTubers, my name is Bobby Onesius and today I'm going to uh, back up just a little bit because I've installed a lot of ROMs on here, I've done a lot of things using multi-ROM for you all to see and view, and I've also been asked a few questions about multi-ROM, you know, um, in the installation, uh, you know, how it look, what, what you can do with the thing, because I always usually just go back to the beginning in my custom recovery, and then I show you how all that stuff works from there. So I'm just rewinding today. I'm going to just do a fresh install and show you exactly what I do to get my um, multi-ROM on board with my Nexus 7 2013. So, you want to go to the Play Store, and I'm going to look for... Multi-ROM Manager. Alright, there it is. Install. I accept. Let it install. Alright, there we go. Open. Grant root access. Definitely. Alright, it says here multi ROM is not installed. You're like, wait a minute, didn't I just install the AP or the the app? Sure, you did. But now you need to get it inside of this uh tablet here, okay? You have to flash a zip and also there's a uh if you go to the form I'll have link below, there's an uninstall zip file. When you go back into your custom recovery, you can sit there and uninstall this whole this whole deal. If you feel like you don't want to use this multi ROM anymore, you want to get it off of here or something's not going right, it'll just delete all the um, ROMs that you have on here. If you had ROMs, you'd click here and you'd say manage ROMs. I don't have any ROMs. You can actually go back and forth between here when it comes to uh, all the ROMs that you have downloaded onto your tablet. If you had an OTG cable installed, of course, all of it would show up right here. And you can just go between, you know, into whatever ROM you wanted. But we don't have that right now. So we got install and update. Here's the things that it wants us to install. Multi-ROM version of uh, V22B, your recovery, I already have that recovery installed, if not you would just click it or checkbox it there, okay? And the kernel. Now this gives you, this is pretty much the stock kernel with this KEXEC, I hope, yeah, KEXEC, the hard boot patch on there. So you're if you ever want to go back to your custom, you're not going to, or excuse me, your stock kernel, you're not going to really mess much up, or not a whole lot got changed. So you're just going to pick the one you want, your stock 4.4.2, whatever the heck you got on here. I don't need any of that because I have Franco kernel installed. It comes with this hard boot patch. I'm good to go. I just need to install Multi ROM V22B. So what you do from here, you just hit install and reboot from there. So when this reboots, you're going to see on your Team Win Recovery Project, which I have, your, there's an option called Advanced. I've shown you all a few times before, but this is just a rewind video back to the basics again. Sometimes you just need to know what it looks like from my perspective before you move on. So it's running command. There it goes. So let's see what it does right now. Okay, it's just restarting. Auto boot. Okay, there we go. We're in it. This will come up every time you boot unless you go to uh, your back to recovery and you make some adjustments and tweaks on this. You can, of course, you can change the color. Purple, green. We'll go back to purple. I think it's pretty cool. USB. There's nothing in here, but you're like, okay, no ROMs in this location. USB. Well, if you have an OTG cable, Excuse me, I had to reach across and get it. One like this, check this out. I'll plug this in. Let me get this plugged in here. All right, it is plugged in. Now check this out. Boom. I have got Synergy Mod Snapshot M3. There's an M4 out. I'll be doing a video just on how to update this later at a later time. But right now, there you go, that's what it would look like. Go to internal. Once again, you'll have all your ROMs listed here. If you go to multi-ROM here, you can play a little bit of, play a little game with 
the computer if you so wish if you're cool like that you know it's kind of neat this is like a little easter egg I guess we'll go ahead and back on out of that so there you go just hit boot you've all seen in the custom recovery where you go to advance and then you go to multi rom because that stuff will be added to it's like a modded team win recovery project it'll say like multi rom up top version 2.7.0.0 uh, so don't freak out if you see that your custom recovery has changed a little bit. It's just there so you can uh, go through the multi realm feature, install your apps. Excuse me, not your apps. I'm sorry. Install your ROM, uh, whatever else you want to flash to your to your ROMs there. So there you go. That's all together. I'm gonna go ahead and just reboot real quick. Well, before I do, excuse me, before I do that, let me go ahead and show you multi ROM. I'll go here and it is gonna everything is greened up. We're all good. Okay. And then I go here, manage ROMs. There's something that's just your stock ROM right there. You don't want to manage that too well. I don't I wouldn't mess with it. So that's what that looks like. Everything is working as advertised this install Ubuntu touch you've seen that before from me there's new versions available it just it just keeps sort of stacking up pretty neat uh, maybe I'll do some more of that stuff it's up to you guys if you want to just leave a comment below and I'll definitely address it let's go back I'm going to restart reboot excuse me into recovery now if you want to know how I got all those options why I got the green uh, navigation bar down here. I have done a video on uh, exposed. I'm not. I don't know everything about it. it it's a, there's a lot of stuff dealing with exposed. But the uh, X Blast tools that I put on there gives you the options to put that kind of stuff on here. Just something very light. I'm not trying to go real heavy or overboard with my uh, framework or anything like that. So I get. I just want to have those options to choose from, and I also like to have my nav bar a little different. All right, this is what you're gonna see. You're like, okay, I'm used to that. Then you're gonna go, wait a minute, multi rom, twerp. All right, gives you the date, 2.7.0, and the normal stuff. Now down here under advanced, you go to multi rom right there. This is where you would add your rom and do your dirty work. All right, list of roms. There's nothing there because it's under location internal memory. We'll just change that now, won't we? Okay, we're going to go there. Select. There's my CyanogenMod mod using my OTG cable, okay? That's how, pretty much how that's operating. So, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little, um, well, it's not that quick, but it's a little rundown of multi-ROM, rewinding the clock a little bit, giving you uh, a, a chance to just see how this works first before you di dive into some of those other videos that I have. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe. Uh, please leave comments below if there's anything special you want me to try to put on this before you decide to do it to your Nexus and have the ability to mess it up. Let me do all the dirty work. I'll mess it up. I'll see if I can film and all that good stuff. But uh, y'all take care, okay?